Hello everyone, welcome to our 50th episode of the Royal Family. And this is a huge deal. This is a huge milestone for our series. And I have a very special one hour special video for you today. At least I'm hoping it's gonna be one hour, not 100% sure after I edit it, but hopefully it will be around there. So uh, definitely some special stuff going on in this video today. First off, we are going to age up Princess Naya of Oasis Spring. She's gonna become a child. And I am going to announce to you guys now that I. I have officially on the behalf of Prince Adrian and Princess Lindsay, the future King and Queen of Oasis Springs, they are going to officially dub Princess Nea the heir to the throne of Oasis Springs. So that is a huge thing. We've now, I know you guys have been asking about this a lot and I'm happy about this too, that we finally have a female heir. So that is a huge deal. Another announcement I want to make that is not gonna happen in this video, but I just wanna mention it now is that I am working on a history of Windenburg, wind, sorry, History of Windenburg video for you guys. So it's going to be like a story video. I won't be speaking in it. There's going to be like just words and scenes and it's going to tell the story of the original King and Queen of Windenburg and then how the evil vampire queen Ravenna took over and basically like what happened with all of that. So that is going to be a video. I was hoping to have that as the 50th episode, but it's just, it's taking way too long. So that's going to be another video. It's going to be a separate video video and I am excited for you guys to see that too because I think that's something you guys will really enjoy especially if you guys enjoyed the whole family tree and the history of Windenburg so definitely look out for that video uh, another thing I want to do in this video is I want to kind of focus in on the nobles a little bit we have lots of young adult male nobles but we don't have we have like no young adult female nobles that are single so all of those men are gonna have to wait till the women age up before they can marry into one of them uh, or marry into one of them before they can marry one of them. The third thing that I wanted to do in this video is to renovate the Windenburg Palace. So I've always wanted to do this. I just like, not a huge fan of the fact that our palace is like a big rectangle. So I want to like push it back a little bit and add like some more stuff to it. So I, I, I like thought about maybe doing a speed build for that, but I think that it's just like, I, I'm not gonna do like too, too much. So I think it's okay to put in this video too. Um, so yeah, so that is what we're doing in this episode. I'm super super excited i hope you guys are excited as i am we'll probably do some other stuff too so just stay tuned to see like what little things we get to do so we are going to go ahead and start but before we begin don't forget to hit that subscribe button don't forget to turn on your notifications so you're notified when we post a new video don't forget to follow us on social media and let's go ahead and play the royal family of windenburg episode 50. Okay, so I said we are aging up Princess Naya of Oasis Springs first, so we're going to go to the Oasis Springs Palace and do that. I'm wondering if I should do a birthday party. We've just like done so many birthday parties. I think it's just gonna be a small family thing. I'll make her a cake, but I don't think that we need to like throw a legit birthday party, even though she is the heir to the throne now. So I feel like they would go all, go all out. Like parents tend to do for first like children, like their oldest children, they always go all out for them, but they've got four toddlers right now, guys. I don't think they want to have a birthday party at the moment. So we are not going to do that right now so we're going to just have a cake be made whoops i'm going to have princess Lindsay make the cake i don't think she's ever cooked before so we'll see how this goes but she's going to bake the cake oh gosh our toddlers are so cute oh and i have like the prettiest dress prettiest formal dress too for the princesses for oasis springs i'm so excited to show it to you guys it's definitely oh gosh guys it's so cute so that will be we'll get to see that too i'll go through the, their outfits i also realized that i haven't changed the outfit of prince kellen yet from the last episode because i didn't get to show that to you guys so maybe i'll do this this episode too because i do want to focus on the royal family of windenburg I also want to focus on the royal family of Willow Creek. Maybe we'll just like visit all of them in this episode. I mean, we have the time, so maybe we'll go ahead and do that. So someone is calling Princess Lindsay. <gasps> She's supposed to be at work right now. Oh, shoot. Her boss is calling. Her boss is probably super angry. That's not good, guys. She was supposed to be at work oh, oh, not too long ago. She should go to work, though. Do we have any adults in the house at the moment? We don't. They're all at work, guys. Ah, oh, dang. Okay, well, uh, I don't know what to do. I guess we will send her to work and just when she gets back, we'll have the cake. She should probably go to work. We definitely want her to do that. That's important. So, um, 
not. Oh gosh. Okay. Yeah. All right. We're going to set her off to work. And then I don't know. Oh, yep. All right. Send to daycare. So we're sending all the children to daycare. So we'll just like speed through this. I love, okay, scandal breaker. Princess Lynn has heard about a scandal stemming from the office and is immediately faced with the dilemma. Do they admit the scandal to the public or do they try to bury it? Let's try to reveal it. Cause I feel like if you bury it, they're going to be like, you tried to do this and we know about it. Acquired the potty skill. What happened with the scandal? I want to know. Princess, uh, things immediately improved. Okay, cool. I don't know if you guys wanted to actually read all that, but it was a lot. So I wasn't going to. And then Queen... Aria, she has a little bit of time left to live, not too much time, but as soon as she passes away, that's when we would have the coronation ceremony for Prince Adrian and Princess Lindsay, so don't know how much time she has left, but I don't even know what happened to King Easton. I don't even know where his his urn is because I didn't see him pass away. I'm assuming he died of old, old age, but I have no idea where he passed away or like where his urn is or anything. I'm just gonna pick up this random object. We're gonna, oh, I guess I guess I can put it in our inventory and then we're going to sell it probably. Let's do that, okay. So we are going to do that and then I was going to do something I forgot. Oh, I wanna hire a butler because we should have one for this castle. So we're going to do that. I'm going to hire a service, hire a service because we have plenty of bedrooms in this house for a butler, so we might as well. Okay, cool. So we are going to have a butler for this palace. I think the royal family of Brindleton Bay needs one too. Oh gosh, guys, I cannot wear this the entire time. It's kind of like a little headband. This is actually, I own a princess party company. So this is like one of the, the tiers that we give to the birthday girls. So that is, it's like a headband. So it's like squeezing my head. It's also made for kids. So it's a little small. So I can't wear that the entire time, but okay. So the Windenburg Butlering Academy is an excellent candidate for you. Cool. Okay, so we're going to assign a bed to him. I guess just one of these downstairs beds. Let's do this one. The ones that's next to the children's room. So assign, oh, come back. Assign bed to butler. Okay, cool. Very cool looking butler. Okay, so we're assigning it to her. And then we are having our little mini family birthday party. So we're going, where, where, where did the cake go? Oh, okay, good. I was like, oh my god. Okay, add birthday candles to cake. And then, why is Princess Naya sad? Princess Naya, it's your birthday. You should not be sad. It's because you're not having any fun. Oh, shoot. Oh, you can play with that? I thought it was a little too tall for you to play with, but I guess they can play with it. Guys, it's like her height. That's super cute. She's like, her head is like right to the table where they play. That's adorable. Okay, well, you are going to age up in just a minute, so you'll be super happy in just a moment. So we're going to, I think, let's have her ask for Candle's help by her, let's do her grandmother. I think she should be spending a little bit more time with her grandmother too. I am glad all four of the Oasis Springs royal family kids got to spend time with King Easton before he passed away because it is nice that they get to spend time with their grandparents at least. So I'm glad they did that. But okay, you are done with that. Wait, no, 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 where you're supposed to ask for help to blow out the candles. So blow candles help, ask your grandmother. Why can't you ask her? Why, okay, oh, okay, good. I was like, why is this not showing up? So she is being carried by her grandmother right now. Oh gosh, she's so cute. I think her grandmother like totally adores, or Queen Arya, yeah, totally adores her grandchildren. She's so happy to be a grandmother too. She should probably like, I was wondering if I should make them retire when they're elders, when they're like the king and queen, but like they wouldn't retire technically until they're they're dead, so probably not. But yeah, I guess I wish they could just like, we can work from home. So I wish, I don't know. I wish there was just like a, a job that was just like king or queen. <laughs> Maybe I'd love to know how to make mods to be able to do that because that would be fun. You could like listen to the complaints of the, of your royal subjects could do like kingly duties, like collect taxes could be one of the things. Okay, so Princess Nea is aging up. Oh gosh, oh, okay, this is the first like child of Oasis Springs, so I'm excited. Okay, Princess Nea aged up. So she's got a one for everything. I think, okay, she was inquisitive. So when they're inquisitive, I feel like they would definitely be like smart. They wanna know a lot. So I think mental would be her aspiration. And then we are going to have her be a, mm, let's see, what would she be? Um, there's a bookworm that's cheerful. There is just like outgoing, insider, good, 
why don't we do... She could be a genius. She could. That's one thing. She could be self-assured. Let's do that. I don't think I've had a Sim be self-assured for a while. So she's going to be a self-assured... Oh my gosh. Eh. Self-assured Sim. So that is Princess Naya. And dear lord, we have to change her outfit. So we're going to change her outfit really quickly. And, oh, this was another thing I wanted to do in this episode. I am going to have you guys meet the child that I think that I, I hmm, I'm trying to think. I'm trying to think if her family would set her up with this child or like, this is who we want Princess Naya to marry. So I don't, but like they're part of like the noble families of Brindleton Bay. So I don't know if that would be the first choice for them. I'm trying to think. They'd probably want her to marry like one of the kids of Willow Creek, but we want her to marry like the noble. It's just, oh God, it's a lot. Yeah. Mm, Cause that, ah, okay, sorry. I'm thinking, I have to think about this more and then I'll brainstorm later. I'm just like rambling and trying to like go through my my thoughts a little bit, but it's not working out very well. Okay, so Princess Naya. So we're going to pick a different hair. I'm trying to think, Um, she had, I think she just had this one, didn't she? When she was a kid. And then it has an orange ribbon, but their family colors are either green or yellow, so, or, or green and, and yellow. There's that one, there's that one. What are some of the new hairstyles we have? We have braids, we've got that. We have like long hair like this. I don't know. It kind of like reminds me of Tarzan a little bit and I don't know why. There's this one too, that's, that's really cute. There's this, oh gosh guys, there's some new ones here that I love. There's that one, it's got a little bun. Oh yeah, I did get a bunch of new ones. I forgot about this. Okay, so we, ooh, I like that. That's one, which is, oh, this is like the little curly hair. I like that. Okay, that one, and then this one, and that one. What else do we have? There's that, and the long hair too. I think a lot of the family would actually have really long hair. So there's that one, and there's this one. And then there is, there's that one. That's another one too with the long hair. There's this one and that one. I like this one, guys. I think this one's really pretty. I think we're gonna go with this. And then we are going to pick an outfit for her. So it is really hard to find outfits that are kind of in the theme for Oasis Springs. Uh, for the guys, they could totally, oh gosh, sorry. I have to like burp a little bit. So for the guys, they, they could totally wear this one. For the girls, oh, they, there's this one. Is that part of the holiday pack? That's not part of the in the city pack? Well, this is their colors already. Then there's this bright, ooh, there's this bright yellow one too. There's that one, has a little bit of red in it. Or that one, I'm trying to think what's the best one. I could kind of make the sisters like one mostly wear green and one mostly wear yellow. I kind of like the yellow on Princess Naya though. Let me just see what else we have. So there's that one, there's this one too. That would also kind of go, I just don't know if it's like fancy enough. There's this, ooh guys, there's this one. Oh, I like that too. Is it a little plain though? There's this one. Oh, that's a, oh, that's a short one. You know what, you know what? Guys, this is this is probably better. The short, just like without the UGG boots though, because that's not that's not what we want her to wear. So we're going to have her do. Oh, wait, this springs is pretty hot, so she would definitely not wear boots. There's like those, but I'll probably pick a different color. Don't have like the cute little ones that kind of go with this whole ethnic theme. But they did. There's really not that many shoes to choose from, guys. I don't know why. We could just do flats. Like that, I mean, that's a little plain, but we can still do that. So, I mean, yeah, there's that. I mean, do you, I think this is princessy enough. I don't know what you guys think. There's that one or there's this white. No, I like, I like the yellow. There's also pink and the green one. That's the one we saw already. That other green and yellow one aren't on there though. So we're gonna find something for her sister to wear. I mean, she could wear this one. It's just like got that random red in it and kind of reminds me of Christmas a little bit. And I don't know why. So there's this one. I think we're gonna go with this. I think we're gonna stick with this. Oh, guys, this is really cute. I think she looks like a princess for sure. Okay, so that is her everyday outfit. And then her, oh gosh, I'm so excited to show you guys this. Okay, are you ready? Are you ready? I need, should we do green or should we do, I'm gonna show you guys green first. Okay, guys, look at this. Look at this. Oh my god. I was so excited when I found this, guys. It's probably like not exactly like the theme, but it's like the clo it's just it's gorgeous and it's like not something for sure not something you'd wear in Windenburg or anything like that. So 
Oh my god. I was so excited when I found this, guys. It is so cute. I am loving this so much. It's totally the formal outfit. It's perfect. I need her to wear... Yep, we need your shoes. Okay. But yeah, I think we're gonna go with the green for her. Let me just check the other colors. I don't know. There is a yellow. Ooh, and... <gasps> It's like ombres down to the red. Oh my gosh. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh my God, I love the ombre guys. Okay, there's that one and it's like a little bit of green at the bottom. If we're gonna be consistent, I think we're gonna go with the yellow for her too. So that way her sister can wear more green and she can wear more of the yellow slash gold. So, oh my God. Oh, wait, but I do like the green one a lot though. But we're gonna go with the yellow. Um, if we're gonna go with the yellow. Oh my God, guys, it's so beautiful. There's this one too. There's that one too, but like Brindleton Bay's colors is, is orange and red. So I think we're just going to stick with this for now. And then I'm gonna put like a little bit of makeup on her too. So for the make, oh, so for the kid's eyes. So I was, oh gosh, no, her eyes are not green. They're they're brown for sure. So yeah, for the for all eyes, I was kind of going with this. I don't, oh, that, that that's like kind of dull, right? There's not much going on to that. It does look more like the cartoon. I don't know. Do you guys prefer that one instead? Let me just try putting some like lipstick on her. Just a little bit. So, oh god, she's so pretty. She's so pretty. And then we should have the blush too. Like a little bit like that. Or like this. There's that's that's actually a lot. That's that's a little much for a child. I don't know. Maybe she would wear that. Maybe she'd be interested. Like super This one isn't showing up at all though. So it's like either a lot or like barely any at all. I think we're gonna go with this one. Let's go with this. They're fancy. It's fine. So this is her. This- Oh god. Is that too much though? I think it is. I think it's too much. Just slightly too much. Oh god. Wait, this is like changing- Is this a skin overlay? It's changing her face. Right? Oh no, it's just giving her like highlights. Oh. Okay. Okay. Let's go with this then. Guys, she's so pretty! I'm so excited. Okay, so we have her formal wear and then her athletic. I'm gonna have to find something for her to wear for that. Let's do like, uh, I, I never know if this is like a jumpsuit or what exactly this is. I guess it could be athletic wear. She needs sneakers though, for sure. So let's do some sneakers and then I should probably change her hair so that it's not just like down and in her face. Is there like a long braid that we could do or we could put like her hair up? Well, this though, like doesn't show how long her hair actually is. Like that for sure looks like she cut her hair or, or something. So I, I, there's that one, but that also looks like she cut her hair, but, and she also doesn't have bangs, right? Yeah, yeah. So what about like a long ponytail? We don't really have anything like up that goes for their hair. It's mostly all down. Is there anything else? I mean, there's this one put up in a bun, but she doesn't have bangs. So, so, we're gonna do these, but they just, they don't show how long her hair actually is. Her hair is much longer than that. But we're just gonna go with this for now, because I don't have any other options. So I'll look for other ones. So that is her athletic wear. Oh, this is so cute. I'm gonna put her hair like down, down though, for, for the sleeping time. So there's that one. I'm just gonna make this yellow. Oh, or she could have a, like a super long nightgown like this. I don't know what the other families wear, or this is, oh, wait, what's some custom content? Oh my God, it's a Minnie Mouse one. Oh, that's cute. Oh gosh, oh, that's adorable. Okay, well, maybe maybe another time, but we'll do this, because it is warm where they live, so I think she'd probably wear something like shorter. So we'll do that for, oh gosh, no. Heck no, not for a party. What in the world? What in the world, girl, are you wearing? Okay. So they could do, ooh, what do we do for a party outfit? Because we've already, maybe we just like a longer version. We could do the longer version of this, but then like there's yellow or there's this one, like the yellow still is in this. Cause this one's too similar to her everyday outfit. So it's basically the same thing, just long, which I feel like that works too. I think that could work. I don't think we have anything else really in this style. So I think that's what we're going to have to go with. So I think this is good because it's still yellow. It's a little bit more dull, but that's okay, I think. So we'll do, I know we're doing like the same shoes for everything. Maybe, yeah, I don't like the bright yellow shoes. So we'll just do this. So this will be good party wear. Oh, and we need tea. <gasps> we can wear crowns. Yes. Okay. So she's got little earrings on and then we are also doing her makeup a little bit too. I like the color she had on before. 
So there's that, and then the cheeks, we're going to do a little highlighter for the cheeks. Oh gosh, guys, she's gorgeous. She's really pretty. Okay, and then do we have anything for the crowns? I mean, that I feel like works. For the royal crowns, like the king and queen, they've got like, it's more like a head that you, you saw on, on Queen Arya. It's got like that head thing. So I don't think we have that for children yet. So, oh, maybe because I'm in the party section right now, do we have do we have anything? I thought we might have something. Doesn't look like it, no. Yeah, we just got like flower crown. Oh, we have flower crowns though. She could wear that for every day. Oh yeah, that'd be really cute. Okay then, I'm gonna have her wear this for her formal and for her party wear. So we're going to give her the crown for her formal wear too. And then I'll probably add the flower crown a little bit. Oh wait, wait, we can make it, we can make it gold. Yes? Oh, ooh, no, I don't like that actually. <gasps> There's that one! Oh, that's pretty too. I think, actually, I think I like the first one best. We're gonna go with this for now and then maybe, maybe later on I'll change it. And then I just wanna add some flowers to her hair because it was really, really cute. So we'll add some little yellow cute flowers to her hair. Oh my gosh, guys, she's really, really pretty. Okay, so then we definitely need to change her hot weather outfit. So we'll do a little dress for that one. I'm trying to think of what to do. There's this one that kind of looks like within their style. So I think I'm going to go with that. And then we'll do some cute little sandals too. Let's go with that one maybe. Ah! I think we're, I'm, I know I use, have been using these shoes for everything, but I think we're just going to go with that. I'm not loving the dress, but it's the best thing at the moment, so I'll probably change that later. That's okay. It's okay for now. And then we're going to have her little coat and everything. Honestly, like, if I just change the colors of this, I think it's fine. Do we have a yellow? We have a green. Although she wears yellow, though. That's, like, her colors, so... We have, that's not really yellow. Do we have any? <gasps> Yay, yellow. And then we have her boots. I'm going to, we could also make those. Oh no, those are going over or not over her pants. There's those. And then I'm going to do a cute little hat, like maybe one of these hats. Those are really cute. Yes. Or we can just do like a regular cream one. I think that's okay. Cool, guys, I think she's really pretty. I'm just gonna add a little bit of makeup on her for, oh, whoa, no, no. Is that too glossy, I think? I think that's okay, right? I think that's okay. And then cheeks, we're gonna just do a little bit of highlighter on the cheeks. And guys, this is Princess Naya. She's really pretty. I like her a lot. I love her hair. I love her outfit. I love just all of it. I love all of it. Okay, so that is Princess Naya. So. We have our first child and the heir to the throne of Oasis Springs. Well, technically, like, her father, Prince Adrian, is the heir to the throne, but then she's going to be the next heir. So this is going to be super cute. And we're going to go visit who we want her to marry. So I'm going to introduce you all to her. So that is what we're going to do next. I guess we could, we could have the entire family go. No, I think we're just going to have the parents go with the with with princess nay i don't think we're gonna bring the entire family because that is a lot so we're gonna go visit them they live in this this i mean this house is going to impress them for sure it is super impressive so oh am i okay i'm with princess Lindsay and and princess naya princess Lindsay needs to work on a relationship with her children because they're like not they're not very close at all with their kids or princess nay is not very close with her kids anyway so we probably should work on that for sure so we're gonna go visit but yeah this house is gorgeous it's like all gold it's amazing guys it's so amazing so you guys are gonna see this but it's just oh god it is very very fancy download it from the gallery it's like the golden blue no, our palace is called the Golden Blue Palace in uh, Brindleton Bay. So it'll tell me in just a second of what it's called. Okay, so it's called the Golden French Manor. So that's super fancy. So this family was downloaded from the, not downloaded from the gallery, but it's one that one of our viewers made who Princess Naya is actually named after for one of our viewers. So um, Naya, our viewer, made this family because she would like Princess Naya to marry this son. So the story behind them kind of is, oh, and they're, wait, they were right there. They could have talked to each other. He like, oh, he, did you see that? He like stared at her. He was like looking at her. So I think he's really into her. So he is going to be the, well, okay. So the fam, the story is with him 
and his mother. I'm gonna have to look it up again because this is kind of the gist of it. So basically him and his mother, they were friends with Queen Nina of Brindleton Bay. And then Queen Nina begged her husband, King Jared, to give them like their own place and and their own and the, the title for the son too. So he I haven't changed it yet, but he should be Sir, let's see, this is Sir, he's Sir Philip. Ooh, Philip, I, how have I not named any nobles Philip yet? That's totally a great name. That's a great name. Okay, so this is Sir Philip. I'm gonna change his name, but right now they're the McWilliams, they're gonna be Brindleton, and I think the one, it's gonna be Earl, or not Earl, no, the Marquis. He's gonna be the Marquis of Brindleton Bay. So, yeah, this is going to be for Princess Nea. They're getting along great. They're talking to each other right out here, like by themselves. I think where why is Princess Lindsay so uncomfortable? Why they're on the beach? They're on the beach. Okay. What is going on here? Where why is everyone where's their house? It's over here. Why is everyone walking that way? Knock on door. Celebrity Oh, well, it's a celebrity house? Well shoot. Okay. That kind of failed then. Well, Princess Naya knows them. Celebrity access, okay, a relationship. Okay, well, let's build a relationship then. So this isn't going very well. So uh, it's going well for the children, not so much for the parents. So the parents, they need to chat with the, the mother who I think she disappeared. I don't know where she went. She must have gone back inside. So I'm gonna have Princess Naya talk. Oh no, there she is. Okay, we're gonna chat with her, so. Should we wait? Uh, rude introduction. Friendly, friendly introduction. Oh, we learned that Prince Philip is cheerful. That's a good thing. So this is Pearl McWilliams. So, oh gosh, sorry. I realize I'm like, I'm like really low to the camera right now. So I should probably like adjust it. Okay. So um, Pearl McWilliams, that's his mother. So she is going to, we need to do a, okay. Wait, we're already doing a friendly introduction. I thought we were anyway. Princess Nea, you need to introduce yourself to her mother. So, I mean, their mother really doesn't come from much. So she doesn't have a title. They got their title because of her relationship with the queen. So I guess, I mean, she, in that case, she would be pretty well res respected because she's friends with the queen. Like she's one of the queen's great friends. So I'm sure she would be pretty well respected, but it's just that they don't come from or they might come from a wealthy family. I don't know. I have to read the the description again. Uh, Prince Adrian's going to do a polite introduction. So he's going to do a polite introduction. They, I think they're like really far away. They are. They're so far away. Okay, I'm going to have Prince Adrian teleport because that's just going to take forever for him to get here. Okay, so he's teleported. He is going to introduce himself to her. So do a polite introduction. And then you can introduce yourself to Philip as well. So they're kind of testing the waters here. So basically I feel like they're, his, his brother, Prince Adrian's brother, King Jared of, of Brindleton Bay, told his brother that there is this boy that is Princess Nea's age. And he has just granted them a title. They live in this gorgeous house that I think, well, I don't know what would happen to the house. I guess if he married Princess Nea, then he would become the king of Oasis Springs. So that house would like, not long. Oh, dang. Okay. They're not going to have, maybe, maybe Pearl, she can, oh God, her arm just went behind her head. Uh, but she can have more children and marry someone else. Yeah. Wait, she's a young adult. Oh my gosh. How did I not think of this guys? She's a young adult. We have so many young adults, men, males in that are in the noble families in other worlds. So that's what I was going to focus on next she can marry one of them. And then maybe she can have more kids. So we do have someone for her. And then, then that way they won't go without a marquee in Brindleton Bay because if Philip marries Princess Nea, he'll become king, but we need someone to be the marquee of Brindleton Bay still. So it could be one of his siblings, one of his half siblings. Oh my gosh, guys, it's like revelation here. So I'm so excited to, try to do this. So, okay, so they're meeting them. It looks like things are getting along pretty well. They all seem to be chatting and Prince Adrian has a pretty good relationship with the mother already and with Philip, I believe. It looks like Princess Lindsay needs to work on it a little bit, but we're gonna offer our gratitude. I think that Prince Adrian is into this. Like he, he might like this a lot. He is definitely like, uh, I don't know. I, I think he was hesitant because of like the family. I feel like 
one of the princes of Willow Creek, the younger prince, the younger triplet, would probably be his first choice for Princess Nana to marry. But that could also be Princess Megan's future. Yeah, because Princess Nana, no, she's the same age as them. But yeah, that could be Princess Megan, Princess Nana's older, younger sister. She could marry him, but then like, where are they going to move to, guys? They would literally have nowhere to go. So that's a problem. That's kind of an issue. I have to figure that out. So. That is going to be just a slight problem, but we'll figure something out for them. So this is going to be Princess Naya. She is getting along okay. They are chatting, so they've at least met, so that's good. And they can also just like hang out a ton too. We can talk about favorite animal. It is 10 p.m. We should probably get inside or something. So I just want them to chat a little bit and then maybe we can stargaze together. And then Princess, oh no, Princess Lindsay. Oh no, is Princess Lindsay sick? Okay, we have to find some medicine for Princess Lindsay. So she's going to take her medicine. Oh my gosh, she's got spots all over her. That's gross. Oh god. Oh, I forgot this is like where all of the animals are. <laughs> so it looks like Princess Lindsay has just taken her medicine. So I think she should be okay. Okay, but we need to go ahead and start focusing on the nobles now. I actually don't know how much of the renovation of the Windenburg Palace I'm going to get to. I'm going to try to get to as much of it as possible. If I need to, maybe I will turn it into a speed build. So we'll have to just see. So Princess Nea is getting along pretty well with... Uh, this is going to be Sir Philip. So he's she's getting along pretty well with Sir Philip, which is awesome. Okay. So now we're going to save and go to Manage World. We're going to focus on the noble families, guys. So I know you guys haven't seen too much of them. We're going to have, I'm going to look for one of the single nobles and we're going to have them talk to Pearl McWilliams because I think she's super pretty. And then she's got her son too, who's super cute. I think they would be like the talk of the town or the worlds right now. So I think they would be super, super into it. So, okay, so basically what we have here. So this is Princess or Queen Alice and Prince Edmund's half-sister, Lady Tiara. So she's a teenager right now, guys. She's so cute. She's so cute. I love her new outfit. I don't think you guys have seen that yet. This is her older brother, Duke Addy. So he is a young adult. He's looking for a wife. We need to find someone for him. So the other families we have here, so this is the Marquis of Oasis Springs. So this is their daughter, Lady Jill. She's a teenager. She's super cute. And then we have kids here at the Baron of Oasis Springs. Oh, a Baron. I haven't found a Baron yet for Brindleton. Maybe that can be Sir Philip's name. Anyway, yeah. Okay, I gotta come up with a title for Sir Philip. It'll either be the Baron or the Marquis. So we have the Baron, they've got two children. We have the Earl of Oasis Springs. They've got Lady Harmony. I'm using, I've used custom content for like all of the noble girls now. So I'm super excited about this. And we have Sir Dean, who I must say is very attractive, guys. He's super attractive. Another Sim that's really attractive is the Duke of Willow Creek, their son, Sir Harrison Willow. He is also very attractive, guys, not gonna lie. So there are them. We've got toddlers here. I'm focusing more on like the ones with the older kids. We've got here the Baroness Shayna of Willow Creek. So her husband passed away of the cold like many episodes ago. So when she passes away, Lady Val Valentina will be the Baroness of Willow Creek. So she is, oh gosh, her name's probably not going to fit all in that. So it's going to have to turn into like Lady Tina or Valerie or something. We're going to have to change her name. And then we have Lady Ava, who I believe you guys have met before because she was in the club with princess amira so we have them do they have a baron do they wait yes yes they do right marquee baron yeah okay they do oh right duh we were just in that that household oh my gosh oh god okay so in windenburg here so this is the one i think with the older sims so we have the marquee of windenburg so these are king henry's princess Cora and Princess Anna's cousins, Sir Matthew and Sir Franklin. So they're young adults. So they are needing to find a wifey soon. So then we also have the Earl of Windenburg. This is Earl or Sir Derek. 
he was uh, Princess Anna's other possible love candidate. So things didn't work out very well with them. So that I think is a really good possibility. I think he'd be interested in Pearl McWilliams. And then we just have here, we have Sir Scott Windenberg, who's a teenager and Lady Blair Windenberg, who I love her hair. She's got a little Ariana Grande haircut going on. So that is Lady Blair. So why don't we play with the Earl of Windenburg? Because I think that he would be the one interested in Pearl McWilliams. We're kind of going to have to see who... I, it's just like there's no women around, guys. There's no women young adults that are nobles. So obviously, if they find out that an attractive young woman who is a noble now, who has just been like given a title, is like in the area, I think that all of the men, the eligible bachelors, would swarm towards her. So I think it's going to have to see who like gets along with her the most. So this should be interesting. I'm super excited to see this. So you guys kind of got a little sneak peek of the nobles. I didn't get to focus it on as much as I wanted because I do want to have enough time to do the castle renovation for you guys. Oh my gosh, Countess, Myra, what the heck are you wearing? Please change. This is... Mm, no, I'm not okay with this. You're going to have to change. Her outfit's a little young but it looks like they're gonna pass away soon anyway, so I'm not gonna bother changing it. So this is their, yeah, this is their house. Why is this, this one looks familiar. Is this familiar? This is familiar, because I think I've played in this household before. This is definitely one of the first houses I think I've ever played in. I'm not 100% sure, but I do like it a lot. Oh, oh wait, oh, guys, it's the Von ha Hunt Haunt Estate, but like, like re renovated a little bit. I'm pretty sure that's what it is because this looks familiar. So yeah, so it is, t oh, you know what? It's almost 12 a.m., but they're not even gonna, like, can they meet the McWilliams household if it's a celebrity household if we don't have, I need to change that on their thing because it shouldn't be a celebrity household. I should change that. If, if we can't find her on here, I'm gonna change it because this, is not, they're not celebrities really, so that shouldn't be a celebrity household. So yeah, I think we're gonna have to change that, but I think that, well, I mean, I don't know, we'll see. We'll see when we get there to see if she's actually there. Okay, so we have her son. We have Sir Philip is here. So we're gonna introduce ourselves to him. He'd be like, hey, little bud, is your mother home? Oh my gosh, Sir Philip is gonna have to deal with all of these men just coming to the house and going to have to deal with all of them trying to get his mother. What I want to know what happened to their father. I'm going to have to find that out. Discuss interests. We're going to enthuse about new show, I guess. So I think I'm going to need to do a cheat. There's a dog running towards us. Oh my God. Oh God, that's a giant dog. <gasps> Is it? It's a stray. It's coming to us and barking at us. That's Probably not a good thing. Oh my gosh, I have hiccups. Okay, so outgoing lesson. Sir Derek is outgoing. It's just pretty easy for him to make friends then. I think, yeah, we're gonna have to change this. I have to look up the cheat though to change the object builds on here. So let me do that. Okay, cool, it worked. Awesome, okay, so I just had to turn it on. So I'm going to change this. This is not a celebrity house anymore. And bam, we are good. Knock on the door. This, that took like a lot longer than I wanted it to. So uh, Sir Derek is bringing a hamburger to their house, a half-eaten hamburger that he's eating to their house. All right, you do you, that's fine. Oh gosh, I'm really excited for you guys to see this because you guys actually haven't seen it yet. Come on in, look at this golden goddess house, guys. This is j it's really small, but this is literally like, it is just made of gold. Oh, they're sleeping in the same bed. <laughs> oh, they have another bed though. Okay. Yeah, there's only two bedrooms up here. We've got our restroom. Oh, that's not a restroom. Where's the, what is this? What is this? Is this a, a study? I didn't even see that there. This is a bedroom, but it's like completely open. I could have put the bedroom in there. Is there not a bathroom up here, guys? Well, crap. That's something we should probably add is a restroom. Okay, oh, she's awake. Okay, Miss Pearl, Lady Pearl. I guess, do I call her Lady Pearl? Because her son is technically the title holder. Her her son's won't the title. So I guess she would not have a title. She would be Lady or something. If you guys know what it is, you can tell me. But I, because I know it's not like Dowager or maybe it is. I don't know. Anyway, so we're going to have her meet 
Sir Derek, and we'll see how this goes. He is super outgoing, super charming. So you guys are actually getting to see Pearl McWilliams up close, who is soon going to be Pearl Brindleton, because we do got to change their name. So we're going to tell an insider story. I don't think she has a job, though, guys. She should probably get one. Get to know, although she is being, like, not funded, but she's getting help from the king right now. So that is, like, I mean, she doesn't need a job for really a while, but it's cool to have a son that already has a title. This is like one of the first ones that are that are young that has that have a title. So we're going to let's see. It seems to be going pretty well. Ask about career. So I mean, I probably won't focus on this too much because I did. I, I wanted to show you guys a little bit more of the family of, of the noble families, but I don't really think we're going to get to that in this episode. If you guys, okay, I don't even know if you guys want to see all that. So if you guys do, if you're interested in seeing the other noble families, let me know in the comments and I'd be happy to have an episode dedicated to that for you guys. So she is a stay at home mom. So he's learning that we're going to do a heartfelt compliment. Can we do, let's stargaze. I saw that. Wait, let's go. Yeah, let's stargaze because that always gets our relationship up really high with people. Why are they so sad? They look like he looks super concerned and I don't know why. So mm, we'll, we'll see why. Okay, so they are stargazing together on this gorgeous little pathway. So I think things are going pretty, pretty well. Is that her cold weather outfit? She doesn't have pants on and that definitely doesn't work for the cold. Is it cold out? It is cold out. Yeah, you should probably wear some pants, but eh. That's okay. Okay, so we're going, it looks like it's going pretty well. I'm just gonna flirt and see what happens. And then, then we'll move on to the royal family of Windenburg. And then we can do some renovations to the house that I'm super excited about. This might actually end up being longer than an hour. I'm not 100% sure, so we'll just have to see. So they are still chatting. And then, yep. Yeah, okay, so let's see how this flirting goes. Where, is he whispering to her? Is that supposed to be the flirting? I don't think that's actually flirting. No, it doesn't look like flirting. Come on, flirt with her, Sir Derek. What are you doing? Flirt, flirt. They're hugging. Hey, they're hugging. They're pretty friendly with each other. Are you not Are you not gonna flirt with her? Because I asked you to. The, you're, you're supposed to flirt. It's on your cue. They just took a selfie together. So, I mean, they have their own little friendly interactions going on. Is this how he flirts? That's not how you flirt. What is happening? You're supposed to flirt. Flirt, flirt. What are you doing? Come on, sir. What? Oh my God, guys. This, I asked him to flirt. You guys saw that, right? Did they flirt already? Cause I have no idea what happened. All right, so let's try this again, I guess. Do a pickup line. See how that goes. I don't know what you're doing. Think about family member. No, you're supposed to flirt with her. Come on, flirt, pick up line. Do a pickup line and is this not oh did he do that from the stairs is she into it she's into it guys <gasps> they're flirty they're flirty they're both very flirty oh my god guys this is going so well this is going so well oh my gosh i think we just found prince derek's future or not prince derek oh my gosh sir derek's future wife this was so easy oh my gosh they're so into it they're so into it guys this is awesome Oh, and she's, oh, they're so into it. We should probably do some friendly interactions too, just to balance it out a little bit. But, oh my God, guys, this is awesome. Maybe I will. I'm going to have them let's try to, let's do, can we, oh no, she's very uncomfortable. Why are you very uncomfortable? No, make happy. Okay, now she's very flirty again. Okay, uh, I think we're going to hold hands. We're doing lots of flirting. She's into it. And then we're going to do a first kiss. I think I'm going to ask her to be our girlfriend in this episode. I think that's, that's good. Wait, but then if if they move, then he's he's the only child. So he has a title he has to live up. Oh crap, I didn't think this through. He has a title he has to live up to. So then they're gonna have to move. But then her son's gonna be the Brindleton Bay. Maybe we have to have like a governess move in with her son, Sir Philip. Oh gosh, yeah, you guys tell me what we should do. I don't I don't actually know. That's gonna be that's I mean there's definitely some relationship stuff they're gonna have to work out because we gotta figure out the best way to do that. Like who's gonna move in with who and where. Cause he has a title he has to live up to, but she has to look after her son who also has a title now. And they just got the title guys. They can't just leave it. So, Ooh. but then he would be the future heir, but then he has a title now. So it's really confusing. I'm really confused. This is, this is just, this is so confusing with this series, but I love it. I still love it so much. And I'm glad you guys do too. So I think, 
You're gonna ask to be- Oh my god, no! Sir Philip, what are you doing? You're ruining the moment! Oh gosh, okay. Well, all right, well, now they're boyfriend and girlfriend. And then Sir Philip is making a mess in the back. So, I'm gonna just leave them here. So, yay! So that's a little bit of focus on some noble families for you guys. You guys want to know more about them or like wait until maybe we age them up like from there's because we have a lot of teenage girls right now but we can age them up and then like see who marries who because there's just going to be a point of like lots of marriages lots of babies for noble families noble families aren't like a, about the same age as the the royal families are because like we've only been having royal babies we haven't had anyone had a baby in a really long time actually so it's like kind of overdue for a baby there's no children happening so we're going to go to the windenberg house i have not updated prince kellen's outfit yet but i will do that in another episode because i still haven't even looked for custom content really with pink or purple clothing for like formal wear so i'll have to do that too but yeah we can totally do that in another episode but i'm really excited to renovate this castle i don't know what it's gonna look like i don't usually do builds so this is going to be interesting so i just want to do like a quick checkup on them we've got the king and queen like rallying in the front they're super excited about something we have all of our children guys i'm gonna need to do a family portrait soon if you guys saw the last episode we did a family portrait of the two princesses with sir kellen when he was a toddler and i'm in love with it I love this picture it's so cute guys so i'm super excited about this one and i definitely need a picture of all of them when they're grown up too so i think yeah i'm really excited okay so we're going to do some builds totally need to change prince kellen's outfit because i think this is supposed to be his hot weather outfit i know in the last episode too we started another group which we actually need to start a gallery uh, start a gathering because we need to add Prince Kellen to it because he's not added in there so we need to do that too so I'm starting a gathering hopefully our club point perks will go up maybe I'll focus that on the next episode so let's go ahead and do some building so I'm going to oh wait no I wanted to make it afternoon so we have some light happening I'm going to move the palace back if I can oh wait no no let go of that window okay Let's move the house and I don't think we have that much space to move it back to. I think we're going to have to say goodbye to our maze, guys. I think that's going to have to happen. It's just the pool so small, though. Like, it's it really needs to be fixed. So, okay, so this is our house. I'm trying to think. Of, I want to move it straight back. Oh, gosh. Oh, my gosh. Okay, moving this straight back here. Guys, this has been our castle for like a really long time. So this is going to be much different to have it moved back. So what is the best? Like, I need to make sure it's lined up with the side so it's not lopsided. What are we doing here? I think like that. And then push it back a little bit more. It looks like our weather machine's going to get moved, but that's okay. So move it back. I think this is good. Did I? Wait, what? What? Wait, what? Did I move it? I did move it back. But oh, okay. Oh, yeah, we did. Okay. We moved the castle back. We're going to have to... I think we're just going to have to get rid of all of this. This is happening, guys. This is this is definitely going to be weird not having any of this here. So moving that back, moving, moving that, and all of the fences. I have never done, like, a speed build or anything, so I don't, like... I'm not the best at- oh gosh, oh no, our stairs are gone! <laughs> well, shoot! Okay, well, we have to fix that. So, I'm going to fix the stairs. Might even, like, work on this separately and then show it to you guys later, but I hope you guys are interested in seeing what we do with our castle. I'm gonna have to get rid of all the maze, too. We'll- we'll- I'll do that in a little bit. So, we moved back our palace, so I need to paint this, too, because now it's just like some random pavement happening is that like sad? no okay wait oh it is oh. oh interesting okay guys yes okay so we're gonna move our trash can in the corner right over here and i just wanted like a little bit of a path is this centered is it i think it is 
I'm not 100% sure, but I'm hoping it is. Okay, so we had our palace. I wanted to do like a little pathway happening here. And I just wanted to like, mm, I want to make it like wider because it is so square at the moment. So let's see, why don't we do, I'm going, oh my God, God I should have thought this through. I forgot that I'm not great at this. It's not centered. Wait, it's not centered. Ah, shoot. Okay, well, wait, but it's not centered like that either, right? Oh, it's not. Oh, the gate just isn't centered at all. I should have thought this through, guys. I have no idea what to do. <laughs> I don't know what to do with the palace. I think that, well, okay, you know what? I'm just gonna, we're gonna edit the outer part of the, I don't wanna get rid of like our fences though. So I think we're going to do this. Oh gosh, it's gonna be so weird. We're not gonna have our pool anymore. Well, I don't wanna get rid of all that. No. Okay. I think this is going to, oh God. I don't even know what to do though. This is- it looks so weird without the maze, guys. <laughs> this looks so strange. I want, like, a- like, a pretty garden back here, and I wanted to, like- I love just downloading stuff from the gallery, too, but when you download a- oh, yep, okay, let's see, is this right? Yep. But when you download the garden, like, anything outdoors, it gives you a foundation that I don't want. Like, I just want it to be flat to the ground. So it gives you a foundation that I just find very, very, very strange. So, okay, well, I'm gonna work on that part later. I want to give each of the kids their own room. So this is definitely like a little bit of renovating here. So they still have, we, oh gosh, yeah, we turned this from a guest bedroom into like the kids nursery, which I think we can keep. I think that's okay to keep their old rooms. And I just wanna give each of them their own little spin and their own little style. So. I think that we're going to find some other beds because they've had these beds for generations, guys. They've had these for so long. So we want something still super fancy and cute. But this one's pretty, pretty fancy too. I think we're going to go, I think, oh shoot, is Princess Amira, her color is pink. So her color is pink. So we we'll, should probably want to do something pink here. So I think this is a good bed for her. I think we're going to turn this bedroom pink for Princess Amira. So we're going to put, it's a little dark though. Like the wood's a little dark. I think it's okay. Do we have other stuff? We have like the, we have a pink comforter. We, oh no, wait, oh wait. I think we just turned it. <gasps> Guys, <gasps> this works. This works, doesn't it? Oh my gosh, yes. Oh, oh, oh my gosh. What do you guys think? I think this is perfect. I think this is actually really, really good. I just want to see... Okay, there's that one, but you can't turn that pink. We can take all of these pillows and put them on... <gasps> oh my god, guy! No, though, I don't think that, that works completely. I think I'm gonna have to find some other pillows, but I love the whole pillow thing with it, too. That's so cool. Okay, we're gonna get rid of this because that's not hers. I'm going to change the colors of the rugs. So I wish that we had like a few other options for them, but I don't think we do. We don't have like anything like super, super pink. And then there's like also not too many fancy, fancy carpets. So uh, yeah, that's not, that's not very big, right? That's, oh, we can make it bigger. Okay, okay, all right. So I can just like add Nope, I want it. Nope. All right, the carpet. What did I just carry? Uh, oh, because it's big, so it's not actually showing up now. Oh my gosh, this is difficult. Okay, move this there. I think that's perfect. I think that's really all the carpet she needs. I think that's good. Yeah, okay, so then we have like the blue and the pink. I do want, why do I keep doing the eyedrop tool? Okay, I want to do the pink pink, and I like this because it's two-toned. So that's perfect. We cannot make this desk. We, does this desk only come in blue? All right, we're gonna have to change that desk then. We need to find something a little bit more fancier and pink. I think we're going, there's this like cute vintage -y one. Do they have like a fancy one that came with the, the what's it called, the Get Famous pack? I don't think so. We wanna do, they don't have like fancy desks. I need to download fancy desks. And I could totally do that on... Ugh, guys, I have so much custom content, though. It's 
ridiculous. I'm, I love my custom content though, guys. I'm so excited that I got this new computer that I'm able to do all of this because it is a lot of fun. I love seeing all the different stuff, just having like different stuff, guys. It's just so satisfactory. Okay, so there's that. Not a huge, huge fan, especially since it touches the curtains a bit. Maybe we can, yes. Okay, <gasps> yeah, there you go, okay. I think we're also going to change the curtains in here to something fancier. I think this place could totally use some fancier windows, but that's not my main concern at the moment. So we have the really fancy curtains from the Get Famous pack. Oh, I also have, whoa, whoa, oh my gosh. Okay, so that's not for us. That is for the Oasis Springs Palace, most likely. What do we have here? That, what is this? What is this? Is that, oh, it's a sheer curtain and it can go just in the middle of your room. That's awesome. Oh wait, did I just move that to our household inventory? I don't need to do that. So, okay. We want some fancy curtains. So I think the best ones really are the ones that come with the Get Famous pack, except I feel like I'm using them for absolutely everything, but that's fine. We have like, we can make them pink or we can make them purple. Is this too hot pink though? I think that's too, that doesn't go, right? I think she needs the white ones because this would be more for her sister. Or even that one would be more for her sister. They have like all this purple. They don't have any pink. Oh my gosh, this is really pretty though. But it's too, it's too purple. I think, I think it is too purple. I don't know. Let's, let's see what this looks like at the moment. Um, I don't think it goes. I think we're gonna have to go with white for her. I think it would look a little bit better. So, oh, nope, that's the window. I want to change the curtain. But does that go either? That doesn't go at all. There's no good pink curtains, guys. I'm very disappointed here. We have those. Mm, those are like casual curtains. So I think this is really it though. I mean, that's fine. It's, it's similar to the other room we had already. It just, it's like missing just a little bit of stuff. I think we need like our, 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 oh, you know what? Let me, let me do custom content for everything. I want to see all of the custom content that we have. So this is all of our kid stuff we have. Ooh, is this a, a royal? Oh, what is this? What is this for? What, is there something that goes on top of that? There has to be. It's missing something. This canopy? No, that's too small. I think that's too small for the canopy. Yeah, it's missing something on top. I don't know what that is, but, oh, is it this one? <gasps> guys, or is it this one? Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. I have to I have, to have this bed for her. This, uh, this one's really cute still though, but it's, 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 it's so, wait, what? Why can't my sim wear this? This is all I want for a king's crown, guys. This is the only thing I want for custom content for the crown for create a sim. And it's just like an object in the house though. That's not what I wanted. Oh gosh, okay. Oh man, that's really disappointing. Okay, we have like a whole royal theme going on here, guys. This is so exciting. Okay, so we have this bed, this gorgeous bed, and it's missing a canopy. So I can't tell exactly what canopy is supposed to go on top of it. I think it's supposed to be, what is happening? I think it's, I don't know. I don't think it's that one. Maybe it's this one. Hmm, does that, te that seems too small. What is this for? Nursery, yeah, that's for a nursery. Oh, guys, we have Pokemon too. That's not for us, but that's for like, oh, nursery living chair. Po oh my God, we have a whole Royal Nursery stuff that I didn't do. Oh my gosh, I need to do that in the next generation. And we have like all of this other stuff too. Oh, is it this one? <gasps> this is the bed, this is it, this is it guys. Oh my gosh, okay. <gasps> Guys, it's beautiful. Can this be pink? It can be pink. I, it needs, it needs some, uh, this is what it needs. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy. <gasps> Guys, this is amazing. I am so happy right now. Okay, oh my gosh. This is like a royal bedroom. And we can actually make, uh, oh, what is this? Uh, King's painting, commissioned King's painting. That's awesome. Wait, what? 
The baby sandals? I thought this was actually something a baby could wear, but it's not. What is this? A sculpture? We have... What is this? Uh, okay, this is for the baby room. Royal nursery dresser. Oh, that's tiny. Okay, but we need like an actual Victorian nursery cupboard. We need an actual dresser that's royal. Victorian... Is this, is this it? This one works. That I'll replace this. Because this one's just like brighter. So we'll do that one. Is there anything else though that we have? Oh my gosh, guys. This is amazing. I'm so happy right now. This is awesome. I did not even know we had this. This is the sofa. God, I need to do this for the Oasis Springs Palace too. Because there's so many options now for the Oasis Springs Palace. <laughs> the vanity. <gasps> You know what? I think she would have a vanity and not a computer. So I, I'm gonna do that. I'm, we're gonna do the beautiful royal vanity. And then we need a chair to go with it. This one, royal vanity. Yes, this is it. This is perfect. Oh my gosh. <gasps> is it really tiny or is it just me? Like this table looks really, really big, but wait, can they sit in there? I'm going to have to see. Oh my gosh. Okay, guys. Th okay, I, I want... Oh my god, look at this bedroom. <gasps> guys, this is Princess Amira's bedroom. And my camera battery is actually about to die. And I've definitely gone over, like, our time. This is very close to an hour now. I'm so sorry I didn't get to finish this in this episode, guys. But I, I hope you are enjoying what we did so far. In the next video, I will totally show you guys what I've done to the palace. But I, I need to end this episode here, unfortunately. But this was a very... I'm so happy we've done 50 episodes guys this is so exciting i hope you guys enjoyed this i hope you guys liked seeing like the noble families and that we have like a new noble family introduced so like a little bit of the story behind that we got to customize princess amir's room this is so her like it's different i want to give each of them their own personality in their own room so i think i'm going to you know i'll probably just make that change and show the final product to you guys in the next video but we're gonna end this episode here thank you guys so much for being with me for especially those of you who have seen all 50 episodes who keep watching who keep commenting and engaging and are in love with this series as much as i am i appreciate i appreciate you guys so so much so thank you and i'm looking forward to 50 more episodes or just continuing it this even more because i'm so in love with this series so thank you guys again so so much if you guys haven't already don't forget to subscribe and comment any suggestions you have don't forget to turn on your notifications don't forget to follow us on social media and we will see you guys in the next video